Why, hello there. Welcome, this is my lap steel guitar. Show and tell. Hi. This is a um, this is a Gretsch lap steel. It's a common model. I think it's a nice instrument, uh, a nice finish and everything. Uh, I guess you call it starburst, sunburst. And uh, lap steel guitar. I got into it a bit because of I used to collect some Hawaiian records, just dollar bin discards, and there's this. I have a whole podcast episode called "Let's Go to Hawaii." That, that outlines some of the connections between country music and Hawaiian music and the guitar in general. It's a long history. <laughs> it's very interesting, though, with um, involving Spanish and Portuguese settlers to Hawaii. Uh, Portuguese explains the ukulele. Uh, I think, yes, um, Spanish is the guitar, and then... Uh, I don't remember all the details, but the point is it's slack key. So that's what you need to know is um, slack key refers to tuning a guitar to uh, like an open chord. And that's uh, it's the slack as you've let down the, the strings. So I use a, a tone bar, which is a heavy piece of metal to to slide into the notes. a bit of reverb and, and delay on that one. I don't have a volume pedal on me right now and some people would, would use volume with the knob here. And yeah, I was using it today. I, I finished a track that will go up next week. I don't even remember the name of it. <laughs> It's a country blues thing, so the lap still actually sounded really nice on it. I, I, I want. I, I sometimes I finish a track and I forget to put the lap steel on, and I regret it later because I think it 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 fills out a track really nicely. I've used it on. Ambient was how I I came to it actually was I knew that it was heavily used uh, by Brian Eno with the help of Daniel Lanois on the Apollo album. And also, Laps Steel is on Pink Floyd's, uh, at least Dark Side of the Moon. So that's kind of, it has a lot of history in, in ambient music, and that was one way, and I told you before, Hawaiian music was the other. So, yeah, I was using it today, and... See, this is a this is another song that I I have I'm working on. I think it's uploaded to SoundCloud. That it's not finished yet, but it's Sadie Blue. I'm coming home to you. Sadie Blue. I mean, you don't have a lot of options. I, in that last chord, I played the the. I went up for the A. I, I did. I think it's A. <laughs> it might not be A at all because it's tuned to a different key. Um, but it's in my head, it's A because it's the fifth fret. So, so I could go. And then the second time, I'll go up. C to blue. Coming home to you, but high up it's risky. I can I can end up anywhere. You just see lines on here. You, there, as you know, there's no frets, so you're just flying by the seat of your pants. That's why I think makes it sound so good. And you bend in, you you slide into the chord. I also keep my hands, uh, my fingers have. Um, are dampening it behind it so that's how it doesn't rattle. Let's see if I do it without it. Yeah, no no fingers behind there and we got the rattle, so I put the fingers on.
that's um, that's the lap steel. And, and just before I leave you, have you ever heard the term pedal steel? That's not referring to a volume pedal to control the volume. That's a, a whole thing with um, it's like a tabletop guitar that has pedals that help change the the chords. And so you don't really see them in, you know, I live in Toronto. It's not an instrument that pops up anywhere. I'd have to go probably to the States, to the South, to get a lap steel. They sometimes pop up on Kijiji. But, yeah, so this is my Gretsch lap steel um, Electromatic. And if you want to buy it, just go to go to my profile, to my Amazon. Ah, just kidding with you. I'm not selling you nothing. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, I'll, I'll see you soon. Take care. Hello, hello, Uncle Leo.